at a time when citizens really feel that governments are not working for them, but are working really for entrenched interests. Reforms like beneficial ownership are really critical to turn the tide and signal that no governments are really serious about working for you. Beneficial ownership and ending secrecy of ownership is key to our cause, to our very cause to restore democracy globally. Preventing and combating corruption, this is a main priority for development of any democratic state. Beneficial ownership speaks right to the open government idea and I think that OGP is an excellent leader in helping many different countries come together and talk about these issues. This idea of harmonizing uh, the, the data, being able to cross-reference the registers, making sure that they are mutually interoperable, we really need to do that at uh, global level. They are legal, um, reputational and financial risk of not knowing the owner of the company in which you are investing, in, with which you are partnering, uh, from which you are buying supplies. Opening beneficial uh, ownership information can lead to true uh, savings and we see that happening in, in a couple of countries already. Openness in the corporate area on beneficial ownership is an economic benefit. It speeds up the, the due diligence process, it could reduce costs um, and it also gives companies more confidence um, about who they're doing business with. The more uh, data are published about final beneficiaries, the greater will be the possibility of verifying the data reported by the companies themselves. Why the, the beneficial owner registry matters is that we need to try everything to make the life of the people who want to launder money harder. If we have progressive legislation adopted in one country, it could have a direct benefit for other countries as well. OGP really has become that one platform that brings together the right actors, the right networks with these frameworks to provide implementation and accountability.